in St. Petersburg, especially St. Petersburg Metro Station, Zenit. And the formal name of this station is Novokristovska. Uh, you know, this station, as well as the final station of this line, uh, were specially built by the Football World Cup in, 18, uh, in 2018. And... Uh, in honor of 315 anniversary of St. Petersburg, uh, the total amount uh, for the construction of Zenit Station and as well as Bigavai Station uh, was 36 billion rubles. It was very expensive. Zenit, uh, this station, Zenit Station, it was named in honor of the 95th anniversary of football club Zenit, which is quite famous in St. Petersburg. And in honor of the Russian victory during the Football World Cup, which took place in 2018. So this station is formed uh, in marine style. You can see the walls that are decorated with mosaic panels representing Finnish Gulf in different seasons. Uh, the floor uh, of gray or uh, dark colors is made of granite. And the walls, the wall, uh, these columns, they are faced with stainless steel and metal ceramics. This station, uh, the tunnel of this station, is stretching for five kilometers, and the track is partly uh, passing under the Finnish Gulf. You can see a uh, special presence from Zenith Club. As I told, it was named in honor of the 95th anniversary of football club Zenit. Uh, this station, Zenit station, is the second one after Spartina metro station to be equipped with travelators and it has also got two lifts for disabled people. Uh, the metro station in it are uh, the uh, stadium, uh, sport complex stadium city, which is known as from Arena. And actually, it was built by the Football World Cup in 2018, which is one of the most famous sport complexes uh, uh, or stadiums in St. Petersburg. And it was built on the former place of the Kirov Kirov Stadium. So the capacity of this stadium is only the square 262,000 square meters. And this project, the project for the stadium was specially designed by the Japanese architect Kurakawa. Uh, actually, the construction uh, was started in 2006 and it was completed in 2017. So, and it was spent just uh, 43 billion rubles for this stadium. Uh, this stadium is either used for football matches or uh, events, shows and festivals. And uh, the capacity for football matches is 68,000 people. The capacity for shows, events and concerts uh, is 80,000 people. Uh, so guests are serviced with the best catering and additional service concerning events, different events and organizations. So pay attention to the roof and look at this top. Yes, and uh, it has got a sliding roof which allows just uh, to hold various sport events or different kinds of events uh, in comfortable conditions and in different seasons, even if it's raining or snowy or whatever. This stadium is located near the metro station Zenit, which is in front of us. Uh, it's uh, is located in the center within some meters. For those who travel by car, there is a parking lot near the stadium and it will take just 5 or 15 minutes to get there. So you can see the ring road over here. So this is the ring road. So this year the great event for St. Petersburg because uh, the European Football Cup uh, takes place, uh, uh, the championship takes place uh, in the stadium in 2021 this year uh, from the 10th of June and up to 11th of July. Uh, and it's a great event for our uh, city of course. So different matches also uh, will held here. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the teams, uh, Belgium and Russia, also uh, Finland and Russia, uh, Finland and Belgium.
Yeah, the metro station Zenit uh, is situated the embankment uh, from which opens a fine view to the Lachta Center. So Lachta Center, it's uh, uh, the uh, industrial enterprise Gazprom is situated the headquarter of Gazprom. So the uh, height of this uh, Lachta Center is 462 meters and it has got uh, 102 lifts and 87 floors. And it's the only skyscraper in St. Petersburg. We don't have any skyscrapers. So as I mentioned, it is the main headquarter of uh, gas industrial enterprise, Gazprom. And during Perestroika, uh, you know that the government wanted to build uh, this industrial enterprise in the center, historical center of the city. Uh, but of course, the residents of St. Petersburg started arguing because it will damage the image of the European city. And then it was moved, the construction was moved to the outskirts of the city. Now it is situated uh, just here on the Baltic Sea, uh, near the seaport uh, Sea Facade, which is quite popular, especially during the navigation, because uh, it has seven tiers through cru uh, three cruise stations, and we accept cruise ships and I mean cruise uh, tourists from the cruise ships all the time. The capacity of uh, Lachta Center, I mean with the square 400 square, uh, thousand square meters and uh, it's a um, uh, modern uh, complex uh, and uh, actually the observation platform and cafe at the top uh, are supposed to be uh, built uh, and opened by the, uh, 2022 next year and uh, it will be a recreational area including the entertainment complex, fitness center and green park. So now you can see it right now, it looks like the spire and I think uh, next year everyone uh, is uh, supposed to visit this laughter center, it will be very interesting. And this is the view to the Baltic Sea or Finnish Gulf. It's a good place for having a rest and if you are tired you just can go there, uh, get to Zenith metro station, get out and just walk along the infant. This is the flag of Zenit Football uh, Club, Zenit, uh, St. Petersburg Football Club.